What's going on? This is JP Miller with D2X. Did you know you can download ChatGPT directly onto your computer and run it on your machine even without the internet? Crazy, right? I'm going to show you how. So we're going to switch our view here. We're going to go to GitHub to the Gnomic AI ChatGPT for All repository. I'm going to post the URL in the comments so that you can go here directly. Now, once you're here, the instructions, this is the GitHub repository, right? This is like open source code where anyone can contribute and download for those who are not in the know. GitHub is awesome, github.com. The instructions say to download this quantize.bin file first and then clone the repo. We're going to do the opposite order and I'll show you why. So first we're gonna clone this repo. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna clone this code. I use SSH, but you could do the HTTPS version. You're gonna copy that link. So I'll copy this, okay? And then I'm gonna open a terminal. So let's open a terminal window. And, and what I'll do is I'll just open this in Visual Studio Code. I've got my terminal. I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Code and I have my terminal here. Alternatively, if you're like a Mac user, you can open your terminal. If you're not familiar with this, you'll probably want to get familiar before you go and do this. But terminal, it's going to be the same set of instructions here. I'm going to close that. And then on a Windows machine, you might use your PowerShell or uh, the command prompt. Okay, so we're in our terminal and I'm going to to do git clone and then paste that in whatever directory I want. This is going to create a chat GPT for all inside of this JP Miller and it already exists. So instead of cloning, we're just going to CD into GPT for all. And then the folder in question is chat. So we're going to CD into the chat folder. And this has got the, the run versions for whatever processor I'm running. So it's got it for the Intel on OS, it's got the M1 processor, and then it's got for the Linux machines, and it covers your Windows machines. But before we can run this, we need our, our quantize.bin files. So here we are back in the repo. And I'm going to, now I downloaded this Quantize, this filtered version, and I found it to be inaccurate and to be snarky. Two qualities that you don't, maybe don't really want from your AI, especially the snarky thing is whatever, but the inaccuracy really got me. So then I try, I saw this note about the unfiltered version. And so you'll download this, you can download as a torrent or as a file and I download and I'm going to download it directly in the chat folder. And this is why I cloned the repo first instead of downloading the bin and then you got to move the file. That's silly. Just clone the repo and then save the file in there. We're going to grab this command. So for me, I'm on a M1 or I'm actually on an M2. And I'm going to grab this command and I'm going to be running this unfiltered quantized bin file. Dot bin file. Okay, so we're back in VS Code. So I'm in my GTP for all directory. There's the chat directory. I'm going to just copy that in from my uh, parent directory so that it CDs into chat for me, whatever I can leave it off and do it myself. But here we are and we are running ChatGPT or a local version of ChatGPT. You can talk to this like anything um i'm going to turn off my wi-fi no wi-fi and so there's no wi-fi now i turned off the wi-fi and i can still talk to the computer i don't know what its name is let's ask it that's how you start a conversation right interesting <laughs> so it's funny a natural language like yours or mine that's funny so you might say well it was connected to the internet when you ran it so i'll i'll actually 
get out of that program now I'll start it again we're not connected to the internet right I've got no Wi-Fi Bump. and here we are we're back to running let's see what its name is now it's still John well let's see we're just having a little conversation What do you want to learn about? Let's see. Tell me about finding a job in tech. Of course, you can use ChatGPT for all sorts of information gathering. You should know that it's not always accurate. As I mentioned, I found that this version is not quite as accurate as, say, like ChatGPT 4.0 but it runs on your machine. Um, so that's, that's interesting that you could, you could give this version ostensibly as far as I know, you know, depending on what's in the source code, but you could give this version sensitive data and not worry about like leaking it to a larger company. So let's see. Um, and this here has some information about finding a job. You could read that. Tell about referrals. Okay. How do I get referrals? That was really the, the purpose of this video. And now it's talking about bonuses. It's talking about a referral bonus. I didn't mention anything about a referral bonus and now it's talking about affiliate programs. Okay, so this version is not like, it reminds me of like early 3.5 when that was, it is publicly available. Like when it first came out, it is not up to like par with like ChatGPT 4.0 for sure. Um, but it's, it's interesting. You should always verify sources. Should be aware that the information may not be correct. If you want the most up-to-date version of like a chat GPT, you can currently pay a subscription of $20 a month on uh, OpenAI. Let's, let's go there. Let's check them out and connect to the internet, right? We got to We got to connect to the internet. So there you go. Proof that I wasn't on and maybe we're on now. Okay. This is an interesting video. I watched this, the Eliza, um, probably saying his name wrong, but, uh, that video is also very interesting. Check those interviews out with Lex Friedman. And I think it's just openai.com. Yep. So you can go to OpenAI. And you can you can run Chat GPT for through their servers. It is more accurate, um, but your your local copy is always there and it's always up. So I have the local copy saved on my machine, and I will use it if like OpenAI is down, the server's down, or if I want to have a conversation with a snarky AI without asking it to be snarky. All right, I'm JP Miller with D2X. And we'll see you in the next video.